everyone, Bill Nichols here, Bill Nichols TV. Today, I wanna to talk about the first thing that you should do if you've got a Phantom 4 Pro, Phantom 4 Pro Plus, and likely any other DJI drone, and that's updating the firmware using DJI Assistant. Let's get into it. All right, so I've got a brand new Phantom 4 Pro Plus here. Thanks to Skyboss Drones. Go check them out, Descript links in the description. This is the Phantom 4 Pro Plus out. They actually sent me one for evaluation. I had an issue with it, IR made it. They sent another one out and I am buying this one. So full disclosure up front, I don't get a discount from Skyboss. They pay the same price that you do. I don't get paid. They're not giving me anything. They just they are the supplier that I get stuff through. They've been really good to me, to customers. So uh, I'm showing some support, go check them out. So the first one that I got, if you remember, you can see that video in the cards over here. I had an issue with the RC connecting to the craft no matter what I did. And um, it was causing a lot of frustration. And then after that video, a lot of you had the same issues and used the steps that I went through. So what I thought is that I would go through, because somebody had quite a few people requested this actually, requested, can I show the firmware update with DJI Assistant 2? So I'm gonna do that right now. So let's get into it. So really the first thing that you should do when you get one of these, especially because if the firmware is a few levels down, you might not be able to connect the RC to the craft. You might not be able to do the firmware upgrade from the remote controller to the aircraft. So we're going to do this through the computer by connecting by micro USB to here using DJI Assistant. So to get started before we even launch Assistant, let's go ahead and turn on the controller. It's not charged a ton. I do have a fresh battery in the Phantom 4 Pro Plus. So this is turning on. There you go, make sure, yep, that's focusing. We'll turn on the Phantom 4 Pro Plus. Wow, that is loud right off the start. So we're gonna run through, I'm gonna run through really quick, do all the activation here. perfect uh, for some reason the controller will not sign in to DJI I don't know if you can hear how loud that is all right while this is rebooting I'm going to tell you some issues that I had with the first Phantom 4 Pro Plus that I had nothing major a few concerns but it also recovered nice as well so a couple things that I had one getting out of the box it didn't connect a lot of people had that issue got that fixed that's fine, no, not an issue, not a defect, nothing else, just sync with the firmware. Second, at high speeds, the gimbal tilts while you're flying, at least on the one that I had, and I've seen some reports from some other people, probably about eight people that have emailed me and asked if I experienced the same issue. What that is is when I'm generally flying backwards at high speed, I would have the gimbal level, and then as I started moving, and started going faster and faster and faster, the horizon would tilt. And while I'm getting that shot, there's not really a way for me to level that out nicely and keep the shot nice and smooth because you'd see it jerk. So that's one thing. And it would tilt whether I was going forward or back. It was really not a good thing. Um, so hopefully, and I tried to do a gimbal calibration, some other pieces, that didn't help it. Um, the other thing that I had was that the tablet that's here on the controller, it crashed a few times in the middle of flying. So this is an Android tablet. What I actually think is going on here is that this is just a screen that the tablet is built into the controller because now the controller has an HDMI out and it has a fan built into the controller that's pretty noisy. I mean, you can hear like it has some noise to it. And um, so I think the tablet's built into the controller and that's sending everything here. What happened a couple of times when I was first flying it was that the DJI Go 4, it just crashed. It would just say DJI Go 4 has quit working or has quit responding and it would crash I could still control the aircraft with the sticks, so that was fine, but I couldn't see anything. I had to relaunch the app. It had to get connected. Uh, it didn't do a uh, return to home from here because that's done from the controller, but it was uh, pretty scary because I was out flying over the water and this thing crashed twice. I got it back, no problem, but um, that looked like some problem with the DJI Go 4 that's built into the controller with this. Now, I'm not able to sign in. 
um, I'm getting this one up and going so that I can show you the firmware update. I've signed into DJI online, no problem there. Try to sign in just the same here and it's not working. So if it doesn't work right now, what we'll do is I'll just show you the upgrade of the firmware with the DJI Assistant on the aircraft and we'll go from there. And there are already multiple people that are reporting this exact issue. Login issues in the Phantom 4 Pro Plus controller. I see it on four different sites. First use my P4 Plus, can't log in with my email account and password on the controller, always receive network unavailable. Tried to log in Facebook through the app and had no problems at all. Phantom 4 Pro Plus and the controller need to be on and connected or this will not log in. Let's see. Okay, so I am getting some, some control here so I can move the gimbal and everything. All right, so these are both connected. Let's see, sign in. Okay, now signing in. Okay. So it looks like the, no, they're <laughs> network unavailable. All right, let's just update the firmware on the drone. I'm gonna leave the controller on, but uh, you're gonna go here, you're gonna to go to DJI. So in Google, just search for DJI Assistant 2. And if you have a Mac, put Mac. If you have a PC, put PC. Go to that page, download it. If you have a Mac, DJI isn't an identified developer yet. So you're gonna get the unidentified developer warning. You got to set your security settings so you can open that and install it, install it. And then go to applications or on the PC, go to programs, all programs. And you're gonna find this program called Assistant. It's not even that intuitive. The logo looks nothing like DJI, but this is it right here, Assistant. It's gonna ask you to install, install this Horndis network uh, driver. I don't do that. Um, so you get the Assistant here. It's not named DJI Assistant or Assistant 2. It's just Assistant, the generic icon. You're gonna open that up. When you open Assistant, you're gonna to have to log in. This is how I know that my login's working. And that's still not happening. All right, so I'm, I'll allow incoming connections. So I'm going to log in here. Hopefully this isn't too loud, this is pretty loud. All right, so we have the DJI system here. So what I'm going to do is I have a micro USB cable um, right here. Then I've got my USB to USB-C adapter for my MacBook Pro. Plug that in here. Bring this around to this port right here. In the overhead, you can see it. You've got a micro USB right here next to the micro SD card. We're just gonna plug that in. When we do, we can see right here, Phantom 4 Pro shows up. So let's click there. It starts right at firmware update. It says firmware incompatibility de detected between some modules and current device. Update your firmware. Say confirm. So you can actually see we're two firmwares behind. So it is updating the firmware right now. So like I said, this is the best thing to do when you get a new device from DJI or from Autel. If they do this, they do it through their SD card or however. Update the firmware right away so that you're on the same firmware across the app, across the device, across your batteries if your batteries get updated. Um, and across your controller. Remember earlier in the week when I had that Insta360 camera, which tomorrow I'll be in Vegas, I'm gonna do some 360 video there. I'll post my overall review of that camera then. You turn it on, you plug it in, you download the app, it worked just like that. That's how this stuff should be. Um, but you know, while we're doing the update, I'll run through a couple things that I really like about the Phantom 4 Pro. One, it's fast as hell. Um, I know that I had an offshore wind pushing it, but when I was out in the ocean coming back, 67 miles an hour coming back, um, it didn't feel like I had that much wind. Obviously I had some, but very fast because it was still going 40 plus going out, 60 something coming back. The camera itself is incredible. It's a lot better than the Phantom 4. I'm gonna post some stuff coming up. Uh, I've just been traveling, I've been sick, it's been New Year's, it's been Christmas, all of that. So I'm gonna work hard on content. The camera is better. Uh, definitely, the stills are better, the um, the video is much better, the higher bit rate helps a lot. The screen on the controller, when the controller is working, is fantastic, the touch is great. The form factor for me, I personally like the size a lot. I do like that if I wanna record the screen, I can do HDMI out, I'm getting all of the screen, all of the screen, all the guides as well, which is really great. Um, and it works really well, I, don't, I didn't have an issue with battery. I will say that on the battery where they say like 28 minutes, I wasn't getting that, I was getting somewhere in the neighborhood of 22 to 25, still plenty. I have a massive amount of batteries. So those are things that I like. The, um, um, 
The tripod mode is really good. So nice and slow, very precise. The uh, the side sensors are very sensitive in tripod mode. And they only work in tripod and beginner. So these infrared sensors, they do not work during your normal P mode or attitude or sport. They don't come on. Um, overall, it's the same form factor, so my existing cases work. Uh, the front and rear obstacle sensing, that's great. I haven't had a chance to test like the dynamic return to home yet where it's actually going around stuff, so I will test that coming up. I haven't had a chance to try out the advanced follow me functions either because I did RMA mine. I just got this one back today, and so we'll have a lot more coming in the next week to two weeks. And um, But overall, I think it is a great upgrade from the Phantom 4. If you have the Phantom 4 and you're happy with it, don't upgrade. Just keep your Phantom 4. If you're thinking of buying an Inspire, uh, but you don't quite want to spend that much money, I wouldn't buy this over, I mean, I wouldn't buy an Inspire 1, just the 4K with the regular Inspire camera, the white one, over this. I would buy this first all day long. An Inspire 1 Pro with the X5 camera, uh, I would probably buy over this if I had the budget for it. But if I didn't, I could buy this and be very, very happy with it. You definitely do professional work with this. Some people say it looks too much like a toy. But I've done huge professional work with my Phantoms, a lot of architectural photography, and my clients haven't been any less happy than when I do it with my Inspire. So that's my overall take on it right now. I do like it. There's definitely some bugs. The tablet crashing, these not syncing up, this not logging in, the firmware being two to three levels down when it comes out of the box. That's just stuff that shouldn't be happening. I know that DJI is rushing to get these out, but... Um, that shouldn't be happening. And then the gimbal tilt issue, so we'll fix that. We'll figure that out as well. Overall, it is a really good bird, though. So I think you'd be happy with it if you got it. Uh, go check them out at Skyboss. This is just about done. We'll see if it works. But really, guys, that's it for the, uh, that's it for the firmware upgrade. Uh, get these connected. Turn them on. Turn on your computer. Download Assistant. Launch Assistant. Plug the USB micro cable from your computer into the Phantom 4, the Phantom 4 Pro, the Phantom 4 Pro Plus, your Mavic, whichever you will see the firmware update the the it'll tell you what's connected you click on that it'll read really quickly if it needs firmware or not they just download it directly from there i think it's a lot safer to do that than from the controller um, you can see everything that's going on and that's pretty much it so um, i'm going to get the controller issues resolved i'll let you know later how that's resolved i'm thinking this firmware update might do it even though they are synced and they are talking to each other but feeling that might be the issue um, I don't think that it's my Wi-Fi. I don't have an issue with that. So, because I can log in on my computer just fine. Next week, what's going on? Uh, some Phantom 4 Pro Plus videos for sure. I've got an Inspire 2 coming. That's my Inspire 2, I'm buying it. Uh, that's what's coming up next week. Thank you guys so much guys for watching. This should just now be crushing over 10,000 subscribers. If it has, amazing. Um, the growth of this channel has been great. It's been really good getting the feedback from you. Good, bad, and different, whatever. I like it all. Um, I actually don't mind when people slam me. I think some of it's kind of funny. Um, but I love all the questions. Keep them coming. I try to answer everybody. Right now, I'm probably behind by about 80 comments. I will get caught up this weekend. So thank you all so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And um, you know, I try and do this content with the content that I would like to watch. And from what I've seen is the content that you like to watch. So thank you so much. You keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Talk to you soon.